lovely lot. Welcome back, welcome back to Notch 211, but much more importantly, welcome to Hampshire. So my good old pal Carl, who you'll remember from many other videos, and I have traipsed all the way down to the lovely Hampshire to meet up with this wonderful, wonderful young man. Good morning, everyone. Paddy from Paddy Detects. Sitting on the other side of this camera is the cameraman, Paddy's dad. Uh, they've very, very kindly invited us down to the fields of Hampshire for the day. Uh, it's a bit breezy, it's a bit overcast, as you can probably see, um, and we've got a storm coming this way. Storm Aisha or Isha is going to hit us at some point today, so it's going to get a bit breezy, uh, but it's going to be fun. We can't wait. These fields have produced lots for Paddy and his dad uh, previously. They've had Roman and all sorts of wonderful stuff, so fingers crossed today for Roman, and uh, next time you see us, we'll be on the field. So as always, we'll see you in a bit. Despite his shyness over there on the left, is Paddy's cameraman, that's Andy. And the reason Paddy and I met is through Detectable, but also through the lovely Carl. So Carl is a very, very, very good friend of Paddy Detects and their family. Um, we met kind of through Detectable, but ended up uh, like mutual friends. So um, fantastic. And it's um, so kind of Paddy to invite me down. If you don't already know Paddy Detects, make sure you go over to his channel. Logo will be coming up at regular intervals. He's already started with a um, first hole coin. Um, I had a first hole button. Uh, it's a beautiful morning, but the wind is coming. Uh, and then we got a one that was a 50, and it looks a bit green. Yeah, that's, I lost it for a sec then. Yeah, and this is my first hole. Ooh, yeah, that's, mm, that's quite interesting, that. There is... Um, there is Roman on this field. They've, they've found Roman before. They found all sorts of wonderful stuff, included hammered coins and all sorts. So we're, we're expecting good things. And that's actually quite interesting. So I'm going to give that a clean. If there's anything there, I'll let you know. Um, failing that, we shall move on and see what the day brings. See you in a bit. And Paddy, by the way, is a font of all knowledge. Um, his brain is full of history and he knows his stuff. Uh, so I might well take this over to him because that's actually really interesting. It's green. It's got that kind of... Um, curled over end and then a flattened other end so it looks well I don't know but it looks like it's something it looks like he's got some proper age to it so I'll get Paddy's opinion and then we'll move on but yeah that's nice good start see you in a bit well as you can see oh by the way it's a bit of an XP day today so I'm on the dais two Carl is on the dais two Paddy and Paddy's cameraman are on the dais one so it's all XP I've got the manticore in the boot so if we do decide to have a change we will but uh, at the moment we're sticking with it uh, and it's going well we've got some fines coming up and I had a 74 and I think we've got a disc shaped thing but I think it might be lead as opposed to a copper or silver coin oh yeah not sure what that is has it got anything on it let's have a look let's get the towel Hmm, don't think so. It's disky, it's round, it's lead. It's got all the makings of some sort of lead token, but I'm not seeing anything coming through. If there is, I'll let you know. Failing that, we'll move on. Good start. Right, next one has got a lot brighter. Very scratchy, jumping all over the place, 70s, 80s, when it was under the ground. You can see that. It's kind of top 80s now and a, a much nicer tone. And i kind of seen it. Um, I've kind of pinpointed it down to uh, here. And I think it's probably more lead, but I um, thought we'd reveal it together at the very least. Try not to hit it. Yeah, it is. But not only is it lead, it's a lovely... Lovely steel yard weight, I think. Yeah, so that's, you know, that could well be Roman. That could be well, well be a Roman steel yard weight. In fact, I'm reasonably confident that it is. Um, and that's awesome. I might, of course, be completely wrong, but that's what we're saying. It's a lovely little steel yard weight. Excellent. Well, that was worth a dig. Right. Let's move on. Right then. So, Paddy's just had a lovely little coin come up. So. Be sure to head over here to his video and have a look. I won't give anything away. Um, I had, I think the consensus is that is a Roman steel yard weight. There's been plenty of Roman come off this field, so that's awesome. 
and it's a very, very busy field. There's lots of iron signals, lots of stuff going on, so plenty of history. And we've got one in the high 70s, 80s here. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a dig on the, uh, on the live dig, so to speak, to see if we can um, uncurse, unearth something nice. Yeah, it's out. Yeah, it's still early 80s. Right. Let's see what we got. Oh, is this thing here? Is that a button? Films. Yeah, I suspect that. I don't know actually. It's very bulbous for a button if it is a button. But yeah, okay. If you can see that, it's a 92. And it's about there. So I thought I might as well just dig it up in front of your very eyes. In case we're in the coin territory. Never know your luck. Still in there. Yeah, still 92. So that's encouraging, and it's still in the hole, so I'm told nothing's too deep hoy, on here. Completely missed it. What an umpty. Can we see anything? Not particularly. Okay, right, let's get the old digger out. Shush. And see what we got. Oh, that's a coin. That's a coin. And that was worth a live dig. Yep, first coin of the day. Excellent. Right, let's give that a squirt, see what it is, and I'll come back to you in a sec. Well, we're on the coins. Uh, but I think that's probably about all we can say about it at this moment in time. I'll give it a quick field squirt, but... Uh, Nothing immediately jumping off the page, so it's got a bit, a bit of a bend to it. I'm going to say Georgian, and it's half penny size. So yeah, that's all right. We don't mind. Live dig coin, excellent. Moving on. There's the boys doing their thing. Looks like Penny's onto something. So the the camera is coming out again, and there's Carl over in the left. Uh, yeah, so going well. Lots of targets. No, uh, no shortage of targets for you today. This one was a 97, just under the surface, as you can see. Just got it out with the digger, and this has fooled many an expert. Many an expert. There we go. Look at that beauty. Actually, still got the silver all over it. Yeah, that's absolutely stunning. Um, often thought to be. Uh, sword hangers, you know, medieval type sword hangers. Uh, sadly, uh, I think, despite fooling many people, they're not. Uh, they're, they're bits of horse tack um, for harnesses and those types of things. So uh, that said, though, it's lovely in silver and really nice. So I'm not complaining, not one bit. Right, let's crack on. Right, well, the shout has gone up. The boy who would be king is on the hammered. What you got, mate? Oh, it's a diddy one. Oh, yes. Oh, that's an amazing neck, mate. Good condition, so that'd be what, a Henry, Henry or Richard or John? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, mate, that's fantastic news. That's He's on the hammer. He's on the silver. Get in. See you in a bit. Somewhere in the distance there is the lovely Carl. And we just heard through the phone that he's found himself a George III shilling, which is fantastic. So he's on the silver. Paddy's on the silver. He's at half, uh, a cut half. Nothing for uh, Paddy's cameraman yet on the silver front. And nothing for me. 
until now. <laughs> I think, I don't know. So I've had a 92, I've been chasing it all over the place. I finally pinpointed it and I can see a bit of an edge. It looks a bit like a silver, sixpence type size. Let's turn around and find out. Right, so as you can see, I started here, couldn't find it anywhere. Then it must have moved and I finally got down to it. It's quite deep actually. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I mean, that might be a pewter button. I might have wasted your time and mine, but it kind of looks silver sixpence size. So uh, let's get the glove off first and foremost, just in case. And then let's go in and see what we got. Oh, so far, so good. Yeah. Yeah, that's a silver coin. All day long. I think it is a sixpence, actually. Oh, brilliant. We're on the silver. I don't know how old it is. I don't think it's that particularly that old. Hard to say at this moment in time because everything's a bit sticky. But we're on the silver. Yes, that's three out of four of us. Excellent. Right, let's give this a squirt and we'll find out who it is. Back in a sec. There we are. Yeah, definitely a sixpence. And actually, as I, just as I turned the camera off, I saw the nose facing left. Yeah, and that is the lovely Queen Victoria. So, yeah, 1800s or so. Um, it's because it's a young bunhead by the looks of it. Yeah, that's fantastic. Very, very happy with that. A little silver sixpence, and we'll take that every day of the week. So we're on the silver. That's three out of four. Just one more to find now, and then that's all four of us on the silver. Now we need to look for something a bit older. See you in a bit. Here we are. As I've just described... Oh yeah, eighteen seven. Oh, that's a beauty, Carl. Yeah. Oh, that's in lovely condition, mate. Not a lot else to show for it, but you well, know if that's all you find all day, you'll be happy with that, won't you? Yeah. That's a gorgeous little Georgia third shilling, I suppose. Oh, mate, that's fantastic. Congratulations. We still got five hours to go. Yeah, plenty of time yet. Well, there we are. There's Paddy. There's Carl. And we're back out after some lunch and what an amazing lunch. We had sausage rolls and drinks and uh, Carl's mum even made us some bread pudding. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's an absolute stodge fest. I think I put on a stone in about half an hour. Anyway, we got about three hours this afternoon. Paddy's back out getting it done. Uh, massive thanks to Paddy and his dad, obviously. Uh, wonderful, wonderful people, wonderful family and wonderful channel. So uh, if you do nothing else, go over to Paddy's channel uh, the link will be in today's description and show him the love, be much appreciated. But as for now, we started uh, with a 90, which was there after lunch, and that was a button, basically, a, a button with a big hole in it, actually. Um, and then we had something in the 50s, which was right next to it, and that looks a bit green and not quite round, so I'm really, really hoping that that might be a little Roman coin. It's ominously, ominously, yeah, that's the right word, misshapen like you'd expect from a Roman coin, but I'm not going to rub it any more than that. I'm going to get some squirt on it and I'll be back to you in a second. Fingers crossed. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be a Roman coin, I think. There's not much to it, but when it's wet, which you won't see now because it's drying out so quickly, there looks like there might be a raised bit here, which is where his bonce would have been. Uh, but yeah, that's gotta be. That's amazing. Right, we need one with some detail on it now, but that's a Roman coin, I'm almost certain. Excellent. Wow, we're on the Roman. Moving on. Well, I've dug a lot of lead today, um, and most of it's been nondescript, you know, just fragments and bligs, bits and blobs of, of just kind of standard lead. Uh, I've had a couple of interesting bits. Might have another interesting bit. Um, it's just come out of that side wall there. Move the towel out of the way. And it's, uh, oh yeah, it's a disky shaped piece. But there looks like there might be something on it. Can you see that? Little something there. So, let's be very, oh yeah, hello. Be really gentle with this. Some sort of token, I think. Oh well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get the squirter out. Uh, in fact, I might even just get the brush out. Uh, bear with me, let me get the brush out and I'll be back to you in a sec. Well, that is a little Bobby Dazzler. Look at that. Lead token, gotta be. I think it's pretty blank on that side. But on this side, an unmistakable MW, which of course, if you turn it over, 
also reads MW. <laughs> um, yeah, lovely. Little medieval token, I, I suspect. Uh, and that's a beauty. You don't find many like as good as that. So I'm not going to squirt it or anything at the moment. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then I'll give it a gentle brush when it's all dried. And you'll see it on the roundup. So yeah, that's an absolutely bobby dazzler of a start to the afternoon. Roman and medieval lead. See you in a bit. Well, it's definitely starting to be a bit of a procession of lead. Had another 55, 56. And I thought it was just a big lump of lead and I was about to chuck it in my bag and I realized it had a bit of a shape to it. So I've already cleaned it, so full disclosure. And we got like a really cool bag seal. Look at that. I don't think I've ever found one quite like that before, like a full, full seal. And as you can see there, what appears, I don't know, my eyes are terrible, but what appears to be a, maybe a lion or, a, or something like that, standing up. Um, that is gorgeous. I am super happy with that. I don't know if there's anything on the other side, but that was pure fluke. That very nearly went in the bag without filming, so I'm very happy that I spotted that. That is a stunner. And another one for the box. Wow, we're having a great day. See you in a bit. Right there, Mr. Godders. Let's have a look, mate. Oh, if you can see that, that is a lovely little Roman coin coming up at 72 on the day as two, just so you know. That's definitely all day long. That's the gate, the, the portcullis or whatever, the, whatever it is. And there'll be somebody on the back there somewhere. Yeah, there's some writing on there as well, mate. That's going to be an absolute cracker. You lucky boy. Well done, mate. Thank you. Good evening, my first... Well, it's my first Roman. First proper Roman for Godders. Oh, I'm so, so pleased for Carl. Finally to get his first Roman where he can actually see something on it. Fantastic. That's a lovely little coin. That's going to come up beautifully. Uh, still waiting for my one, unfortunately. Although I have had a Roman coin. It looks pretty blank. And this was a bit of a heart stopper in the 70s. Uh, just for a split second I saw that gold. But it's a gold gilded. Gilded button moving on well starting to run out of time now we're under an hour i would say the storm has well and truly arrived uh, it is absolutely blowing a gale we thought it was bad earlier it's uh, it's got a lot worse and they're forecasting up to about 80 miles an hour today so uh, yeah less than an hour then we've got to get on the road to get back before it gets absolute carnage on there uh, and that's quite interesting that was a 70 something Thought it was just random metal again, but uh, yeah, that's got a bit of pattern to it. Not quite sure what it is, and obviously we we're running out of time, so we'll clean it up at the out at the uh, roundup. But yeah, we'll take that nice little interesting piece of, of green. Let's move on. Right, that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, possibly my last find. We're about 100 yards from the car now. It's been a fantastic day, absolutely amazing. We've had some incredible finds, and we'll go and say goodbye to Paddy and the cameraman in a second. But uh, we've had some incredible finds, both. Oh, well, all of us, you know, Carl's had a fantastic day, a couple of silvers and, and a Roman. Paddy's had some, an amazing morning, not so much as afternoon, uh, including that cut half. I've had a brilliant day. And some bright sparks left a torch here. Well, we'll take that home. You never know, might get that working. Yeah. There we are then. That's us done. An amazing day. And I mean amazing day. Amazing. Paddy, thank you so much for having me, mate. Yeah, I am so, so nice. grateful. And obviously to Dad, to the cameraman, for a fantastic day. You've got to stick around to the roundup because yeah. not only did I find lots of good stuff, this man had an absolute stonker of a day. Yeah. Brilliant. And then, of course, what you must do before you do anything else is get over to Paddy's channel. Uh, I'll put a link in today's description. Have a look at today's video. He's had a cracker as well. Thank so, you, Marcus. Oh, no, thank you, mate. Um, thanks for a great day. We've had a great day. Hope you've enjoyed it. Stick around to the roundup, and we'll see what we've got. See thanks you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. There we are then, folks. An absolute stonking day in the middle of a storm. Um, yeah, storm Aisha definitely hit us in the afternoon. It was pretty difficult digging, let alone standing up. Um, it, it was a fantastic day, though, all, all said and done. Massive thank you to Paddy and to his cameraman and their family for inviting us down for the day. Carl and I had an absolutely brilliant day. Uh, Carl especially had uh, two bits of silver and his white whale, the Roman 
with some detail. So I'll put a picture of that on the screen as I'm talking. Uh, so he had a fantastic day. If you're keen to see what Paddy, uh, what Paddy found on the day, he had another good day. Uh, be sure to, check, to head over to Paddy's channel. Um, the video is out now, came out this weekend, just gone. Um, and yeah, have a look from his perspective. And if you like what you see, make sure you drop him a sub and show him the love. So it would be much, much appreciated. Um, as for myself, there are 56 targets. Well, actually, no, 57, because we found a torch right at the end. Took the old batteries out, put the new ones in, and look, mummy, a torch of a thousand candles. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't know why I said that. Couldn't resist. Um, yeah, so 56 targets on the slate, uh, including tons of lead, tons of buttons. I think there's about 19 or 20 buttons there. Um, we got a smattering of stuff in, in Cat Corner. We've got four really interesting buttons. Well, three really interesting ones, really. We've got that one on the right with some writing on it. The one here, beautiful little flowery pattern. We've got a, um, a livery button, if you can see that, with the hand holding the staff or whatever it is, and a beautiful gold gilded anchor button, naval button. So yeah, some lovely buttons came up. A couple of whacking great bits of lead as well. Some sort of weight, that one. Pretty confident that that one's a Roman steel yard weight, so very, very happy with that. We found a medieval sword hanger, <laughs> uh, or not, uh, some horse tack. Uh, another little horsey brass thing. Another little um, horse mount, leather mount. That's half of one. I've got a whole one actually in my cabinet and I just compared it and it's exactly the same size, so that's what it is. Um, this little thing here, not sure. It's definitely something. If you've got any ideas, let me know. A ringy piece, a beautifully decorated buckley piece, a lead horn, probably of some sort of ornament, and then a beautiful lead cloth seal. Unfortunately, um, the back half fell off uh, whilst cleaning or gentle cleaning. Uh, and that's beautiful, look at that. That's actually Queen, Queen Anne's head on there. So it's a Queen Anne ownage or cloth seal. And you can see the roaring lion with a number one below it um, on the other side. Uh, that's a stunner. Yeah, it's just a shame that it's broke, but that said, um, at least I can display it with both sides facing up now. Um, and yeah, I found her, her head once, just that piece, once upon a time. So I've never found one complete. Um, and that's a beauty, I'm really, really pleased with that. We found two lead tokens, one completely blank, the other with that beautiful MW uh, and a swishy design uh, below it. Um, so that's probably medieval, so that's a many, many hundreds of years old, so I'm very, very happy with that. We had a George II half penny. We had a Roman grotty coin, but you can just about see his head facing right there. If I show you, yeah, you can just about see his head facing right there. And there's a little bit of detail, not much on the back, but there would have been something there. And of course, uh, a beautiful bit of silver, Queen Victoria, 1852, sixpence. And we never mind finding those, do we? So yeah, so all in all, all three of us, or all four of us had a fantastic day. So uh, as always, thanks for your support. Um, next week's video, I'll be out with a brand new coil on the Manticore. I've got the M15 Beastly Beast, uh, and I took it out over the weekend, just gone, and we had a cracking day with Marky Mark. So stay tuned for that episode. Thanks as always for stopping by, and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you